and 90% of your gold is going to be in that much material. So that first tray is the one that's going to be the richest. Right. You get into a, a beach gold situation, you'll have gold all the way down to the bottom. But if, uh, if you're in a, a, a plaster gold situation, like yeah. uh, in a river or something like that, you'll get 99% of your gold on that first tray and hardly anything in the second tray. But if you get into some really flat gold, it'll act like a kite and it'll, it'll want to flip and go a little bit farther. Right. So if you're into flat gold, then you need a four stack. That way you're not going to miss any. Right. Yeah. Like four wheel drive. You just, <laughs> if you got it, you don't need it, great. But if you don't got yeah. it, you do need it, that's yeah. not so good. No. <laughs> Yeah, we did a bunch of testing on new mats that are out on the market to see yeah. if they'd work any better in the gold cube. Yeah. There's a lot of people that want to be part of the gold cube, but right. none of the mats we tested can do any better than what we got. That's right, yeah. Very nice. Good deal. Good tip. Keep the water agitated as we bring it down. Yeah. Keep the keep the gold sunk. Cool, man. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all about the gold. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. again now I'm on the road again I'm heading back to Munising um, and I'm gonna stay at uh, the campground that I stayed at last night uh, and tomorrow I'm gonna get up there's a big Indian powwow I'm gonna go film that and then I'm gonna head back down south I'm probably gonna go to somewhere like um, Leelanol Peninsula. Blah, blah, blah. Try saying that. Leelanol Peninsula. 
and uh, see if I find some of this beautiful area uh, that's where the, the Bay Lake dunes are I think and I've been a long time ago but anyway everything's going good I think I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna get some crazy looks, but I'm gonna go to Munson, uh, Munising, riding my bike. It'd be awesome. Weather's fantastic. It's brilliant. Oh my gosh. The wind's coming up a bit. Power starts. Half an hour or so, so I think that looks cool. <laughs> da 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 da.
start an artillery firing over there. All right, yeah. I'll be back. Thank you. Yeah. Keep going straight. Focal hole in our charge. 
pouch using a powder horn that's also strapped to me for the measure. Before it down the touch hole, that will be our view. Now we've got a little bit of powder on top of the touch hole. The line down connects to our main charge. Once you light it, you can travel on down and give us a nice big kaboom. Now the can is slowly to climb. The next step though, you actually want to hit something with the can. And that will be aim. There's a few ways you can do that. You can take the tail spike, lift the can up, turn it left and right. We also have a big elevation screw back here. As you turn it, it'll change the elevation of the gun. This is where all the mass is coming into play, getting everything lined up. But eventually you're just going to have to take your hands, make a little bit of a V with your thumb, if you get all the mass right, whatever is in the middle of that site, you're going to hit. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> so now we are aimed, primed, and loaded, and it's about time to fire off a salute charge for all of you. Now I do want to warn everyone, this is the cannon, can be a little bit loud, you may wish to cover your ear. Make ready! An important fur trading center and military outpost, Mishillimackinac was a hive of activity. Soldiers drilled on the parade ground. The blacksmith hammered in his shop. The priest held services in St. Anne's Church. Women cooked meals and tended gardens. Voyagers unloaded canoes, and merchants checked their inventories. Choose one of the French residents of Mishillimackinac and learn about their daily life in the 1750s. I'm very glad to be back here at Mishillimackinac. I've been away recruiting Olawa and Potawatomi warriors. They respect me as one of their own, and I hope to lead them in battle against the English soon. Already we are planning an expedition to the forks of the Ohio, where the English General Braddock was defeated last year. I hope I can drive out these English dogs and keep them from our land, so I can return to trade and my... Hi. to walk into belongs to a soldier who is married and married enlisted soldiers if their wives were allowed to come with them they had to work for the military and they were usually hired as laundresses or seamstresses that's what I'm working on today is 18th century laundry I've got a shirt soaking in the hot water and I'm gonna take it out in a little bit and soak the stains and then let it soak again and then rinse it and hang it to dry great thank you yeah. How long would a soldier be posted here? Uh, ideally for only three years. Three years, wow. So 
a long time. Yeah, that's quite a while. They are supposed to be rotated every three years. Oh. Doesn't always happen, but that's what they shoot for. Yeah. in there actually so I'll put that on your list the fort at Mackinac if we go over the bridge to the UP <laughs> 